Welcome back to our channel, welcome back to our build. Once again, we have the 2022 BRZM. Uh, it's all part, it's on a lift, and that's because we couldn't leave well enough alone. We showed you guys the gains that you get from putting the unequal length Borla headers on the car, and we showed you how it fills that torque gap. Well, what we haven't tested yet, and we will test right now, is an equal length header. So we have these headers from Conway, they pour into two into one, and uh, we're going to throw these on the car and put the car on the dyno. But before we do that, let's take a couple of measurements and kind of show you how they compare to the Borlas and the, uh, the OEMs. A couple of quick measurements from the Tomes. So here the, um, the port size, and they have a really nice flange actually that doesn't seem to be uh, nearly as prone to, to warping but the port size is about 38.77 uh, millimeter so it's about 39 millimeter and uh, i just had this caliper underneath the car the port on the uh, on the head is 38 millimeters and the outlet here of these headers is um is just about 57 millimeters so now going back and comparing them to the borlas the the actual opening here is is quite a bit larger at 42 millimeter but the the piping next down and if we were to look at the tommy piping which is a thicker piping um we are looking at about 43 millimeters for the piping and on the borlas which is a thinner wall piping keep that in mind uh, we're looking at about 41 millimeters now going to the oem headers uh, that this car came with so the opening on the on the exhaust port at the head is going to be 39 millimeter and then the opening here at the uh just at the crossover pipe here it's going to be uh 58 millimeters so that's how they compare in terms of weight also we have these on the scale so the um the Tommy headers, uh, because of the thicker uh, wall piping, they are a couple of pounds heavier than the Borlas. So the Borlas are just over 11 pounds and these are just over 13 pounds. So let's drop these into the car and get the car on the dyno. And here's how the um, headers, the Tommy headers, the equal length 421 fit on the 2.4 uh, motor and the BRZ. So uh, they, they fit and they fit well and you will not have an issue putting these headers on your 2.4. Equal length headers are in. Car is on the dyno. Time for a poll and to analyze the results. Fourth gear poll. I hold silver. And look at that dip. Okay, now onto the results here. So here's the dyno pull, and this is repeatable. So we've done this, um, you know, a number of times, and I can pull up another dyno pull. You can see how closely they overlay one over top of the other. This is with the 4221 equal length Tomei headers on the new 2.4 BRZ. So you can see that visually, at least, the thing that they tuned out on this car that was so prevalent on the 2.0 is back. And that is this torque dip that happens between about 3000 RPM and just past just past 4000 RPM. So visually it's, it's there, it's back, and yes, it will affect uh, your drivability. However, we have to put this again into context. So let's pull up our dyno pull of the car with the stock header. And that is the faint line. So this bottom line here is, is the stock header. And this, this uh, more uh, darker line is, is the, um, the aftermarket header. So now more is revealed. First of all, in this region, we have more torque with the aftermarket header. And we have, you know, not, not an insignificant amount of torque. We have about uh, 10 foot pounds of torque. And that's in the lower RPM just before 3000 RPM. Then the aftermarket header here is, is where it loses out. And here you can see that we've got 13 foot pounds of difference between the stock header and the aftermarket header in terms, uh, in terms of the torque dip. 
So the aftermarket header really drops down in terms of torque tip. And then finally, here is what makes this torque tip look so large is that the aftermarket header pulls away again and it peaks at 184 foot-pounds of torque, whereas the OEM header is only sitting at about 166 foot-pounds of torque. And that is that is right at right at a 4300 kind of rpm uh, point there 4200 rpm and continuing throughout the rest of this pull you can see that in this in this upper mid range the aftermarket header has a clear advantage and it has a clear peak power advantage this is all sae corrected because it's 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 been a, a few days since we had the the car with the stock header on here so it's got a peak power advantage and then it falls off up top so really it looks like this is an issue with the harmonics uh, and not an issue but you know the headers are, are behaving differently due to this uh, because they are so similar at the very top end it looks like there isn't that much of a flow difference between the oem headers and the aftermarket headers however with this much area under the curve here and under the curve here that that the aftermarket header has over the oem header this is going to be faster now how does this compare to the unequal length the borla header and we just had this uh, on the dyno very recently and there's the, the comparison. So this lower, more faint line here and upper, more faint line here and it crosses over is, is the Borla. So what, what can we see here? Well, first of all, with the Borla, you don't get as much of a peak. So it attenuates this peak here and it fills in this, this torque dip. It fills it in to the, uh, to the tune of about, you know, six, seven foot-pounds of torque but the, the difference is why you don't feel it so much is because you don't have this peak that the equal length header has and you don't have this peak that's as high. So the, the power delivery is just flatter throughout here, but the equal length header does have an advantage and it maintains an advantage throughout the entire rest of the pull. And how much of an advantage? Let's just hover over this. So we're looking at about four foot pounds and uh, in terms of horsepower, we're looking at about five horsepower. Again, the ECU is completely untuned, and this is just with different headers and how the car behaves. So you can clearly see that, that tuning can really make a difference here, and I think we can do quite a bit of tuning to fill this gap in with the equal length header once it's available. And, uh, and before that, if you just wanna swap parts on the car, well, you're going to, if you're going to be racing the car and you're going to be living in this region, then the equal length header has an advantage. If you're going to be commuting and you're living in this region, then the unequal length header will have an advantage. So, you know, pick and choose parts based on, on how you drive the car and what you enjoy more. But it's very interesting to see the differences between them. And it's also, you know, having tuned the 2 point the, the two liter engine i'm really looking forward to having that tuning solution so we can address these areas via tuning and then we can really optimize for whatever header uh, is is on the car so stay tuned as we continue our build process and subscribe to our channel and we'll keep you guys posted with uh, new results